What's up, YouTube? It's going to be a quick tutorial on how to get your Madden 24 mods to work. If you're like me, when I first tried to do everything, I was watching YouTube video back to back, and I did everything they said, but for some reason, my mods would not load Madden. I kept getting an error. I can't remember the name of the error, but I kept getting a specific error. Um, and it's all because I did it wrong. I was not doing it in specific order. So that's what this video is going to do. Hopefully it help you guys out. If it don't, leave a comment. Let me know like where you get stuck. If you need a full in-depth video on how to do it from beginning to end, just let me know. And I'll do the best I can like as soon as possible. Okay, first of all, most likely if you're here, you already have everything downloaded that you need. You just stuck. So we're going to open Matt and Spark. The f you don't have, you could just open this normally. So you open Matt and Spark. It should say base game, activate mods, restore Matt and 24. Now here's where it get tricky. You have to do it in order. You open Matt and Spark first. You right click the MMC mod manager and run as administrator. Once that pop up, you select the game, you hit select. If the SDK profile pop up you can just hit x and wait for your Madden um frosty editor to load it might take a while it might not especially when you first start off it might take a long time now for the best results i always like to hit restore Madden 24 first you just click it once it's not going to show anything you're not going to know if it did it or not but I like to just do that always before I start so I don't run into any problems. Then you will add all your mods. I'm quite sure you know how to add your mods. You will click add mod and wherever you have them saved at, you just uh, open that file. You add them here, you will click it, you will click apply mod. Once you have the mod done, then you will hit activate mods. Once you hit activate mods, this base game will eventually change to waiting for user to launch Madden. Once you have that, then you can hit launch. That's what we're gonna do now. You have to do it in this specific order. Is Madden Spark, run MMC Mod Manager as a administrator, restore Madden 24, and then activate mods before you hit launch. This new installation detector always going to pop up. I don't know why. It just always does. You hit OK. It's applying the mods. My game is about to launch. So if you need help, if you need further help, if like you keep running into a problem, leave a comment. I'm going to help you fix it as best as I can. Shouldn't really have no issues, but if you need me to break it down, like where to get all these mods, where to get uh, the MMC mod manager, things of that nature let me know okay so we ran into a problem this is a good learning point right here the Madden did not does not is not running so we're gonna hit X Martin is inactive let's see if I'm still running frosty yes I'm gonna hit restore Madden 24 once again it should change from modern inactive to base game. Here we go. I'm going to hit activate mods. Because sometimes it does this. And then I'm going to hit launch one more time. Hopefully it works this time around. But yeah, you will run into problems. But you'll run into the most problems if you don't do it in order. In that specific order. You'll run into the most problems. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, now it's working. Madden is loading up. So, like I said, if you need... I just closed the game out, by the way. It wasn't no crash or nothing. I closed it out because I didn't want it to talk over top of me. But, like I said, if you need help, if you need me to go into depth with where to get the mods, how to install the mods, where should I put any... Like, anything. If you need help, leave a comment. Um, like and subscribe. And I got you. Thanks for watching.